Hey guys, Waller D, we're back for more, uh, Cheeky Cheeky Boys, and we're now on stage three. This place looks like it's gonna be a total ass. It's interesting music, and we have flamethrowers. Okay, what's up here? More money. Damn it, flamethrowers, stop barring my access to better places. And that, what do you have to say? Up ahead, you made me a monster who's an excellent swordsman. It was he who destroyed your kingdom. Oh, revenge time. Fuck yes. So yes, we have this next level, and these flamethrowers are going to be the bane of your existence in this level, because that's really all I can say. Oh, damn it. Fuck you, frogs. Get the hell out of here. <coughs> okay, so far so good. Damn it. Door, come on. Here we go. la dee da da Okay, so far so good, I guess. Hey, it's a star that I don't know what the hell I'm going to be using for. Damn it, flamethrower! La dee dee da dee. Oh shit. If there's anything that pisses me off more, it's these damn freaking doors in the flamethrower combo. Anything good down here? More money? Okay. I just have to wonder. Of course, there's nothing under there. And we have more money. I kind of need this thing called Life Game. And now we have. Oh my god, it's fucking Skullman, when well, I'm fucking screw- No, it's some guy was trying to act like Skullman. So yeah, this guy is basically a nice, important mini-boss, but here's mostly his tactic, jumping over your fucking head like a moron, and holding his sword out like a fool. And now he's kicking frickin' bones in the air, what a dick. But yeah, he's really- the only thing I can say is that he's pretty agile, but obviously he's not very intelligent because I'm whipping his ass with my damn sword. Yeah, suck on some magic ball. Oh great, now you're gonna show off your little techniques. Like, I learned this from school, man, but now I'm fucking dead. Oh, you're just a pile of crap. Join your friends in this nice little pit of hell, bitch. So now we're done with the first area, and let's see what this play has to say. Curacola is vulnerable when he spreads his wings. Kirakula. I'm really hoping I'm saying that right. Kirakula. Whatever. So as you can see, the game is really creative with them names today. I don't know why the fucking hell that they would have called him Kirakula. Lots of money though. Shit. Lots of fucking bad too, damn it. Oh god, this doesn't look good. Yeah, of course the game's gonna do this ever so wonderful job of forcing enemies up your ass. And now we have a ball creature bouncing around. Ooh, another one of these things, girl. Okay, and I think die like hell. All I can say is just, uh, follow trust your instincts, never give up, all that good stuff. And how the hell do I get up there? Obviously I can't, well that's a damn shame. Of course the enemy is like, yeah, what the hell I can do? Fucking prick. Ooh, more coinage. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's go in this next room. And we have. Who disturbs my. S oh, it's you. Oh, don't be passing me off like nobody. And we have Kurokulon. He is a actually one of the harder bosses in this game, I'd say. Mainly, you just have to watch out for his attacks and the fact that he flashes you with this fucking cape. What the hell, man? That's just wrong game. What kind of thing you're trying to teach the kids? There will be a man. Uh, there will usually be men that will flash their freaking underwear at you. Oh fuck! And that guy does that attack. So yeah, Kirikala is a really weird ass boss, but sadly he's also one of the more difficult bosses because he's such a damn prick. Dude, damn it! He's probably gonna kick my ass at this rate. Damn it, especially these fucking bats. Mmm. Mmm. Come here, little bastard. Yeah, fucker. And every time you hit him three times, and I'm dead. And this is what happens when you die. You hold up a white flag and cry until you press the start button. And you'll get your health back, and you will basically lose your continue. So hopefully you have enough money for that said fucking continue. That's all I gotta say. And of course, the game, what the game doesn't tell you... Oh, thank god, they gave me Magic Bomber. Fuck yes. Mmm, punk. Suck on this, bitch. So yeah, this guy is the hardest boss because... Well, one of the hardest bosses because he can hide his weak spot, which is really freaking rare for most bosses. You, 
usually can just wail on their ass. Oh god, already. Fuck you. Mm. Punk? Yeah, you're dead. And then he just... Even if I'm defeated, there are many creatures after me! Yeah, yeah. Heard that story before. Oh, why does he drop his fucking boxers? Do game, what the fuck are you thinking? Nevertheless, I get money and a freaking map. Sweet. And a score of 12,000 points. Awesome. And now, we get to the shop, and the game's like telling me, Yeah, you're gonna need this freaking thing. Get it. So yeah, follow the game's rules, get the damn thing, and now I... And here's the thing that pisses me off sometimes. When you die, basically you have to spend that money to get that. And then what's that mean for the rest of the items? You're not getting them. Fuck. So yeah, it's kind of like a cycle of bullshit sometimes. But nevertheless, we can keep going. We will keep going. Into the sky. Round 4, Battle Stage 4. And Into the Sky is an interesting one, because it's kind of like... It's pretty much throws you in the air setting, just like with stage round two. But you're gonna have to do a lot of things called dodging, like this fucking guy shooting at you, damn bastards. <laughs> damn it, or damn it, freaking scream border. Stop fucking me over. <clears throat> now, what I'm just wondering is how the fuck are these things just like shooting from the sky? These nice little spiky pillars of blue. Damn it. Yeah, I gotta really be careful here, that's all I can really s say. Ooh, money. <coughs> I'm trying to explore every possible segment of the screen, because I'll prove to be very helpful later on. That didn't help me. I don't need money, I need freaking life. Damn it! A golf game! God, man, this game's just throwing a a lot of shit at me. Oh, thank god, a pill. Blue pill. Loving the drugs. Not really. Okay, so far so damn good. At least in on any air... S or the uh, air segments, the game's hiding of items is pretty obvious. Just look for something that can actually land on the ground. Like, up, up around here is not a bad way to check. Okay, so we'll check up here, and then we got blue... a red pill. Fuck yes, more drugs. And I have a bad feeling about this. Oh great, you again? Fuck. Alright, well I guess I got my nice little attack called this bitch, yeah. Like I say, spamming your freaking uh, magic attack is usually the best way of kicking ass. The thing that's pissing me off of, about this game a little bit is that the game's just throwing three pallet bosses at me right now. It's not getting creative. At least the new bosses are not three pallets. Because that would piss me off. It's just a mini boss, it's for Which ain't so bad. <coughs> so we're now done with that shit. And now we have a weird segment of me platforming. Interesting. Okay. Just gotta keep moving and keep exploring. What do you have to say? Try to find the final key. Okay. Interesting. Fucking damn spike pillar things. So yeah, that thing's kind of important. Try to find that damn final key, because if you don't, I think you get screwed out of the best ending of the game. Hey, there's a freaking more pill, fuck yes. And I don't know exactly where the hell it is, but I'm gonna try to explore every nook and cranny if it kills me, damn it. Okay, let's do this thing real fast. I do not know what the point of the fire is. There's another white pill, shit. Except that it burns your ass if you fall in it, obviously. Dude, do this thing called jumping, kid. Jumping. Oh my god, you're dumb. <laughs> yeah, I have a feeling I might know where it is. There's just some punch going on here. What's this? It's another star. Cool. You can open... What? Okay. I don't know what the hell she meant there. But fucking hell. Okay, let's see if I can find this damn thing. I really need to find this damn fucking chest. Oh shit. Hey, sup, kid. You're kind of familiar. Yeah, fuck you. What the hell? These guys respawn? Fuck off. Okay. Oh shit. I'm gonna probably die before I get this. And I'm dead. Fucking hell. Yes, I know, game. Let's try to find this damn treasure chest because I'm not going to be satisfied until I find this damn thing. Fuck. Oh boy. Could also mean I might die here. Shit. 
Luckily, this game's not too long. Ooh, what the hell is this? I'll bring my ass for it. You have bombarding turret or turnips. Ooh, more score. Fuck yes. And this boss, I would say, is probably the hardest boss in the game. The hardest. Because he has this really quick attack and it hurts like hell. So yeah, you gotta really be careful around this guy. Just when you when you see him rear back, just move the hell back. And now he's shooting out bombs. Fuck. Oh. Damn it. You gotta move him back too, so throw some freaking magic bombs. Ah oh, damn it, they gave me magic bombs this time. Wait, how the hell does it appear on the other side of the screen? Game, you're Ow, fuck off. Mmm. Mmm, fucker. Yeah! Ooh. Oh, that's about to... Oh, damn it, you're not done yet? Fuck. And now he does this attack, which makes him really fucking annoying. Damn it. Gotta really be careful here. This is... I mean, this is the reason why it's one of the hardest bosses. He has two fucking forms. That's not cool. Oh, shit. Apparently, if you don't... Apparently, the stick doesn't count in getting hit. Mmm, punk. Fuck. Alright, I just do keep doing this, bitch. Yeah. You do that. Fucking hell. Damn, this guy has a lot of light, too. Fuck you. Oh, you're still not dead yet? Damn. Talk about a serious boss. Ooh, serious boss with serious money giving out. Girl. That'll help me, my buttons. For world domination. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way... We now have... More continue getting, and what? Did they raise the price again? Fuck you! Stop playing freaking Maximo Logic. Oh, secretly raising the price on your ass until it doesn't matter no more. So I'll just, I'll just get more of this. And I think I'll stop the video here, guys. Next time we're gonna go into chapter. Why do I keep saying chapter? We're gonna go to the final level of the game, and I better find this fucking final key, or I'm gonna be pissed. So thanks for watching, have a great day, and adios.